Hey guys, this is your Fearless Team Leader. This is going to be a quick video on how to sync contacts with a Windows 7 machine and what it's going to look like. Okay, as you can see, I'm going to have to do this on my iPod Touch. So as you can see, we're going to go in here. Here's all our contacts on this iPod Touch. It's essentially going to be the same thing for an iPhone. So it's going to have the same process. If you look on the screen in Windows 7, this is the contacts folder. This is, it says Chris Ortega contact and Pam Sewer contact. So that's what's going to happen when, after it's done syncing, then you're going to see Chris Ortega on here. And you're also going to see Pam and Josh Ortega on this contact sheet as well. So let's get started. So I currently have, as you can tell, I can have the iPod plugged into devices. So what we're going to do is, this is your iTunes. We're going to select iPod. We're going to come up here. You see your summary, music, movies, TV shows, podcasts, info. And on the verify, you'll see info. On an iPhone, the info tab will be on the second one over. On an iPod, it's all the way back at the beginning. But it's basically going to be the same process. So we're going to click info. On a Mac, on a PC, you'll see sync contacts with. On a Mac, it'll say sync address book contacts. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit select sync. And we don't want to sync with Outlook. We want to sync with Windows contacts. Now, if we're switching from one program to another, oftentimes people have a setup as syncing to Google contacts or Yahoo contacts, which doesn't really do anything. It'll give us this warning to actually switch which way we're contacting it. So we're going to hit, we're going to hit, go ahead and hit switch. And now it's switching the Windows contacts. <clears throat> so now we can scroll all the way down to the bottom of iTunes. And at the bottom, we'll see a button that says Apply. Every time that we want to apply a change to the sync profile, we're going to hit Apply. So what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit Apply. And it should pop up with a message asking us if we want. Sometimes it'll ask us if there's two contacts back there. There's contacts on the computers and there's contacts on the phone. It'll ask you if you want to merge or sync data. But right now it's going to back it up. So we'll wait for it to back up. So here we go. So now it says you can help improve. Sometimes this will pop up. You can help Apple improve its products and user support by having your iPod automatically send information to Apple. Most of the time, I just hit no thanks to this. So now it's preparing to sync the contacts. So now it's syncing contacts. So this time, because my contact menu is basically empty and there's not a whole lot of contacts to sync, it's going to go ahead and merge them. So now, syncing is done. So now let's go ahead and check our... Okay, so now, on the iPod, you can tell... If we can focus, there we go. I have all my contacts on here. So I brought over the Chris Ortega and the Pammy Sue from the computer. Now we look at Windows. There's all our contacts. So it has my name, it has my dad's name, it has my mom's name, it has Pammy Sue contact. So now... If we look, they're both going to be equal. And that's it. That's basically how you sync your contacts. The way you're going to... Okay, guys, and that's basically how you sync contacts with the PC with a, using an iPhone or an iPod Touch. Just follow those easy steps, and you'll be able to talk a customer through any call you want. Um... Now, Windows 7 is going to be a little bit different than Windows Vista or Windows XP. Windows XP, you're going to find the contacts under your Outlook Express, under Tools and Address Books. On a Windows Vista machine, you're going to go to your Start menu and look for a program called Windows Mail. After Under Windows Mail, you're, again, you're going to go to Tools and go to Address Book or Windows Contacts and be able to see your contacts there as well. So that's how you can kind of verify that the customer's contacts did, in fact, get synced. 
Now remember, sometimes the iTunes will prompt you to either merge data or replace data. Make sure you always merge the data.